What is up Marvel Universe fanatics? It's Ash Rock back with another Holorama. This is Holorama number three. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say happy holidays to all of you uh, and your families. I hope uh, I hope Santa Claus gets you everything you want. And if he doesn't, I'm going to beat the crap out of that fat bastard. Uh, okay, that's a little extreme. Sorry, Santa Claus. But you are pretty fat. I mean, whew. I mean, all you do is drink milk and eat cookies. You know, naturally, you're going to be a fat ass. Anyways, so this is all around number three. We're going to go through the movies I picked up. I picked up a lot of shit on Black Friday. And not I'm not the kind of Black Friday dude that goes to the stores at like midnight and waits in line. I haven't done that in over four years. I do all of mine online. Uh, Amazon.com, eBay. Uh, I forget the other website I usually use. But um, I just never understood. Like, you guys... You can get the same deals online at midnight after Thanksgiving on Amazon. The same deals, the same 42-inch TV that people are running in there killing each other for, you can get online. Uh, so I picked up a lot of cool... We'll go through the movies first and the video games and then the figures. I uh, picked up this here. It's the Kennedys. Uh, it's a documentary. I'm a huge fan of documentaries and stuff like that. And this is definitely something uh, I'm looking forward to watching. So, big fan of history, big fan of um, all that mumbo jumbo. So, looking forward to that. Uh, this is it, Michael Jackson. I was a big Michael Jackson fan growing up. Um, didn't like all the other the controversy behind him, but he did make some great music. So, got that. Um, Spaceballs. It's really really cool stuff. If you guys haven't seen this, it's absolutely hilarious. So, uh, really cool. Uh, picked up the fighter Still haven't seen this yet. I heard nothing but good stuff about this, but I picked up the fighter uh, on blu-ray digital copy uh, Seven a uh, great great movie if you guys haven't seen this man go see this it's, it's old school I mean, it's probably well over ten years old now, but this is a great thriller man great stuff Good will hunting another great movie very You know hits your heart it hits your heart hard. Oh, God. Got to hold back the tears. Um, <laughs> I'm a jag. Uh, I picked up Life is Beautiful. Uh, this is an Italian movie. It's uh, based on a situation in World War II. It's actually obviously fictional. It's not non-fiction. Or it's fiction. Um, but it is great. Great story, man. Very funny. Um, yeah, this came out a while back, too. And I fell in love with this movie. I'm a big movie buff, as you guys can see. Uh, the Conspirator, another cool movie, uh, based on uh, during the Civil War and Lincoln and everything like that. Cool stuff there. Jackie Brown, Quentin Tarantino, enough said. Uh, Scary Movie 2, uh, this was my favorite one out of all of them. Absolutely hilarious, especially this dude here with the, uh, with the messed up hand. You know, when, he, when the dude's falling off the building, he's like, Take my hand! Uh, no, give me your other hand! But this is my strong hand! And then the guy just decides to fall. He's like, screw that. Uh, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, if you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Resident Evil Afterlife. Uh, I have not seen this yet. I heard it was terrible. But I have to collect them all, and I only paid five bucks for it on Blu-ray, so I'm not complaining. I thought, honestly, the, the best Resident Evil was the first one. That was the scariest, and I thought just the, the best one all around. The other ones were kind of, I don't know, they blew them out of proportion in my opinion. Hot Tub Time Machine, real funny stuff. Again, and I bought all these online. I mean, the, the, the most I paid for these Blu-rays I've showed you so far, I think was like $9, and that's it. I mean, that's the max I paid. Uh, this one here, I probably paid like 6 or 7 bucks for it. So, this is a really funny movie too. I saw that in the theaters. Uh, Blind Side, bought this more for my girl. I know what you guys are saying. Yeah, right, Ash. She watch it, too. I do, so back the hell up. Good movie. Uh, Family Guy. Uh, this is volume... What is this? Volume 9. So really cool stuff there. Uh, absolutely hilarious. Uh, one of the best shows on TV, in my opinion. Uh, Dexter. The complete fifth season. Another cool movie. Now, with these shows, obviously I paid a little more. So, like, for this one here, I actually paid 15 for it, but still 15 bucks. Oh, I just lost my light. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, uh, 15 bucks for a season, not bad. And then the Family Guy one, I paid uh, 20 bucks for it. Uh, the King's Speech, got this bad boy for seven bucks. It got all these awards and stuff, so I figured I'd give it a chance. See how it is. Uh, what else we got? Pulp Fiction, again, Quentin Tarantino for the win. Absolutely classic movie. 
um, Black Dynamite. Haven't seen it, but my friend said it was really good. And for five bucks on Blu-ray, I said, why not? Uh, Gremlins. Uh, enough said. Just a classic movie. Great, great movie. I love it. I mean, it just reminds me when I was a kid. No bills, no responsibilities. All you did was, you know, wash your ass once a week and, and watch cartoons. And eat cereal. Lots of freaking cereal. Uh, Inception. It is a dream within a dream within another dream, and then there's a dream that happens when the dream happens, and dream and dream. So it's it's one of those movies. I watched it 15 times, and I'm still like, huh? Uh, Rain Man. Great movie. Classic, classic stuff here. So, I'm a, like I said, I'm a movie buff, man, all around. It doesn't necessarily have to be action. It could be a heartfelt story. Just a good story for me is what makes it. I mean, that's why, for instance, Godfather 1 and 2 are, in my opinion, the best movies of all time. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, I know the second one just came out, but I haven't seen it. Um, uh, this one wasn't too bad, though. Not too bad. Uh, you can't go wrong with Robert Downey Jr. Dude's a, dude's a riot. Sometimes I still think he's on cocaine, but maybe he's not. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> picked up some more here. I know you guys are like, damn. Taxi Driver. Um, great movie, Robert De Niro. Cannot go wrong with Mr. Robert De Niro. Um, Short Circuit 2. Yeah, again, just one of those movies when you're a kid. One and two, I got both of them now on Blu-ray. But, uh, Johnny Five, what are you doing, Johnny Five? Uh, <laughs> great movie. Uh, Clockwork Orange, very disturbing movie, but Stanley Kubrick uh, is a evil genius. Uh, he knows how to he knows how to write and produce and direct movies. And this one is probably one of his best works, if not his best work. Uh, pick up The Town, also on Blu-ray. Great, great movie, man. Just a cool story. Love it. Um, and then got this too, The Office Overtime. So I saw this at Target for like seven bucks. It's a digital short collection, but I'm an office whore. Um, that didn't sound right. That's your sister, actually. She's the office whore. But uh, no, but this is a really cool, cool movie or show. Uh, definitely worth it. Then the last couple things here, I got. The Lion King, let me pull this out a little bit, the Lion King Trilogy Collection, uh, it has all three movies on Blu-ray, and I'm not kidding you guys when I say this, on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, and 3D. <clears throat> I mean, how can you go wrong with that? It's like freaking 40 movies. You know how much I paid for this? <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I paid $28 for these. 28 bucks. This thing sells for like $100. Again, Amazon, dude. It's the way to go. I'm an Amazon freak. Um, and then, the last couple movies I picked up. In my opinion, I've seen all the summer movies this year, guys. This here, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, was the best movie of the summer. Um, I saw Captain America, Thor, Transformers, Pirates, X-Men. I mean, all those movies. I saw all of them. But this one here, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, best story best action just freaking phenomenal if you haven't seen this go see it i guarantee you're gonna love it you don't even have to have seen the other ones the older ones this is a great movie um i mean i don't know how else to put it just a freaking classic movie i loved it i i i, I watched it in the theaters it was one of those like we were me and my girl were like let's go watch a movie and we had seen every movie and i was like well, what about rise of the planet of the apes she's like okay and we went and it was like the last week for the movie to be shown in the theaters and like it was in the smaller theater in fact you know what i mean and uh i watched it we loved it as soon as i walked out i pre-ordered it on amazon i mean this i paid full price for this i paid 22 dollars for it but i don't care this was well worth it great show and then with that i also bought the entire collection here the planet of the apes collection um the whole thing it's like i think it's like eight movies or seven movies for uh, 35 bucks it's a really cool looking box set I mean awesome stuff so um, yeah I like this movie a lot I like these movies a lot they're really cool um, again the sci-fi genre for the win all right so those are the movies uh, a couple video games I picked up Bioshock 2 uh, paid nine dollars for that the Star Wars complete saga the Lego Star Wars uh, 12 bucks the entire thing 12 bucks this I paid full price. Um, I did have a gift card, so I didn't pay too much. But uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and then 
Next month they're going to come out with uh, Ultimate Super Marvel vs. Capcom 3, then Ultimate Super Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultra, then Ultimate Super Marvel vs. Universe uh, 3 Capcom Ultra Magnetic. We're just taking your money because we don't want to give you downloadable content. Uh, so that's going to be the next one coming out, guys. So look forward to that one. Uh, Resident uh, Resistance 3, one of the sickest shooters of all time. As much as everybody sweats Halo... Play this freaking game. Play the story to this game, the three games, and you tell me which one's more epic. You tell me. Again, my name is Ash Rock on PlayStation, if you guys want to add me. A-S-H-R-O-K. All right? Let's get into the figures now. Wow, that was that was a lot of crap I got there. Uh, got some Iron Man 2 figures. Got the Silver Saturnian. The Silver Saturnian figure. I can't believe they still have these. Like, Walmart, Target, and Toys R Us still has Iron Man 2 figures. This movie came out like two years ago, and they still have these figures. It's disgusting. Uh, and then a classic Iron Man. So I'm finally done with my Iron Man <clears throat> Hall of Armor. So excited about that. Um, also picked up the this Hydra, uh, Hydra Soldier. Um, couldn't find it. You can't find these in Chicago at all. I got lucky and found one. And then also this one here. Um... Some really cool stuff as well. Um, the variant or whatever, regular on the variant. And then a Wolverine Origins. I don't know how, or X-Men Origins Wolverine. I don't know how the Toys R Us still had this, but they did. And the guy said they found a box in the back, way in the back, and had Deadpool and Gambit and all those figures. And unfortunately, all the other figures sold out except for this one. So I wish. If you guys could find that Gambit and the Deadpool, even though they're not the greatest figures, they're actually pretty valuable, and they sell for a lot. So... <clears throat> um, more Marvel Universe stuff. Here we go. This is some cool shit here. Oh, oh, don't drop it. No! Okay. I dropped my shit everywhere. Iron Fist. The new wave. Um, again, this is actually, this is considered Series 4. If you guys can see that. Let me just turn on the light. Series 4. Number 6. So that is Series number 4. Um... They took away the stands, guys. They took away the stands. Um, for me, personally, I didn't really care about the stands much. I know a lot of people did because uh, it was cool to have their names on there, pose them on there. Um, but they did take away the stands, and they, now they give you this stupid includes collectible comic shot. So this little thing here. I haven't opened these yet. I'll let you guys know when I review one of these. But I think that's a cheap, cheap cop-out. Um, and then what's really cool, I guess, is this here. The Deadpool collect them all. And each one of them has a different, um, you know what I mean, like a different uh, saying. So like, like this one here, but none could possibly look this good. And let's see, like the, this one here says, uh, enjoy tacos. They're delicious. Uh, so really cool stuff. I mean, each one of them literally has a different one. So uh, fetch me a churro. Uh, and you better do it because he's Deadpool. But um, yeah, I mean, so I picked up, there's the Storm figure. So let me pull back a little bit. Sorry, guys. Sorry about the bad lighting. If there's bad lighting, I apologize. Uh, the Storm figure. There's the Iron Fist, obviously, which I just showed you guys. Um, the Shadowland Daredevil. So really cool stuff there. Uh, Marvel's Patriot. This figure looks badass, but he's so short. I like the way he looks, but he just looks like a midget. Like, compared to these newer figures with the newer molds, he looks very short. Uh, Psylocke, we finally got Psylocke, um, yeah, older female mold, I'll review her eventually guys, and I'll give you guys the 411, the, the art on all these is absolutely phenomenal, I'm not a huge fan of McGinnis, but he did some great, great work with these figures, and with the art on these, uh, on these figures, um, and then the Ages of Thunder Thor, so really cool stuff there as well, um, and then, Oh, I also got the Electro variant. I got two of these. And I got two of all the other figures, too. If you guys know my rule, one in package, one out. In some cases, I have, like, ten in package, but whatever. I'm retarded like that. But this is the Electro variant. This is a badass figure. I did get to open one. He's, he's in another room. But this is a badass variant. And really cool stuff with these revision series is that a lot of you that are new to Marvel Universe have the opportunity to get some of the older figures, some of the hard-to-get figures. I'm hoping they do a revision series that has Vision in it, uh, maybe another Archangel and a variant Archangel, uh, Warpath, uh, 
you know havoc and havoc variant because those figures are really really hard to find and you pay I mean a lot of money or even blade you know or better yet make a new blade how about that um all right then I got Mr. Sinister and Gambit bad ass I'm reviewing this uh this upcoming Sunday probably maybe Monday but you guys will see what I mean by badass. This is a great, great set. Uh, the Gambit, not so much. It's just pretty much a redo. I'll go over that in the review, but really cool stuff. Gambit and Mr. Sinister. Got, got these from BBTS not too long ago. Actually, like two days ago. And then the Adam Warlock and Thanos. This might give Daredevil and Bullseye a run for its money. Uh, this is a badass set, dude. I mean, that is badass. That Adam Warlock looks freaking amazing. That's just sick. I mean, when I saw the pictures on online, I was like, holy shit. And then I seen here. And then definitely uh, Thanos with the grimacing look. Or maybe I just got laid look. I don't know what that is. But uh, looking forward to reviewing that as well. Um, and then I got another one of these here. This is the 70th anniversary box set. Um, this is my third one I've gotten, um, and you guys are wondering, like, how the hell do you get three of them? How do you afford all this crap? Guys, I never pay full price for most of my shit, especially when it comes to these older figures. Um, I have a little advice for you guys, okay? So, if you're looking for a figure that's hard to get on eBay, let's say, okay, you save the search on eBay. You can save it, you can organize it, like, from newly listed or highest price or whatever, um, and then... You would save that search in your eBay, like in your account, you can save the search. Now, what I do every day, I wake up, I make my coffee, I take my morning shit, and then I go outside and have a smoke, okay? And I'm on my, my phone, and I go to eBay, and all my saved searches, which includes this and some of the other hard to get figures, um, I, I, I search them, just search them. It's already saved for me, so it's the newest ones will pop up. And every now and then, you're gonna find somebody that's trying to get rid of a figure or doesn't even know what they're selling You'd be surprised. I paid 40 bucks for this thing, plus five dollars for shipping. So forty-five dollars for this box set. I've seen the red skull in this box set go for like 60 bucks. So it was an absolute steal. The guy obviously either was trying to make some quick money or had no idea what he was selling. A lot of these people don't research this shit and they just sell it. So that's why I have like three visions and and five archangels and you know what i'm saying like all these hard to get figures because some people don't know what they have now you're not guaranteed to get anything right away you got to do that i mean i searched this thing i would search every day for months before i got it but i got it finally and i only paid 45 dollars shipped i mean and it's brand spanking new i mean it's not it hasn't even been removed out of the plastic yet uh so this is it's an absolute steal guys. I highly recommend doing that kind of style of searching. It takes a while. You have to be patient But you'll get some of the hard to get figures. I, I guarantee it I've been doing it for three years, and I've got a lot of the hard to get figures doing it that way um, And then I got this bad boy here this is my uh, <laughs> Team Cletus the Chicago Bears what a fucking miserable season. It's been for us but uh Got this as well. I got this on BBTS. I think it was like 30, 30 bucks or something. Probably going to open up it eventually. But really cool stuff. Um, and then, let's see here. What else do I have? Um, I guess I'm going to have to bring the camera over here. Let's go look around. Oh, sookie, sookie. And all the boxes and stuff. And I'll eventually post all these MOCs up. Um, Amazon.com had a deal. I bought three Sentinels, three more Sentinels. They had a deal for 28 bucks, and I get free shipping because of uh, my Amazon Prime account. 28 bucks for a Sentinel, not a bad deal. So I bought three of these, and then I got from BBTS. I got my uh, Sentinel variant. This is pretty much a San Diego Comic Con. You know, the one that people were playing, paying stupid prices for when I kept telling them they're going to come out with it in a regular box set, and they did. So, I got two of these, one MOC, one out. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching Holorama number three. Uh, it's been a long one. <laughs> this video is very, very long, but uh, thanks again to everybody. Happy holidays to everybody. Stay tuned for the uh, Marvel Universe 
um, Mr. Sinister and Gambit review. That'll be up in the next couple of days. So thank you all very much. Again, happy holidays to you and your family. And um, yeah, I'll talk. Okay, that's that's the hooker in my attic. Uh, so I got to go take care of her. All right, guys, you guys have a good one. Peace.